Welcome to the Truth Zilla bonus episode. <laughs> We're here to get angry, folks. We're Yes, well, we, we already are angry, but now let us help to inflame you. Um, so we are going to play a couple of clips from, she's a representative, right? House Representative oh Cynthia Johnson that has, uh, it would seem. In, is she still, though? She is. From Michigan. She is. They're, they're investigating whether, whether or not to do something with her. Um, but so she's uh, openly, essentially calling for uh, attack. On, uh, violence against violence uh, against uh, patriots, essentially yeah. anyone that's uh, standing for uh, anything to do with our constitutional rights right now. So I think we're just going to roll this clip mm -hmm. and let her let her tell you let her tell you. Yeah. Okay. So this is clip number one. Play clip one. So this is just a warning to you, Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. We ain't playing with you. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough is enough. And for those of you who are soldiers, you know how to do it. Do it right. Be in order. Make them I think pay. She got the wrong side for the Make soldiers. Them Make pay. them pay. Okay. I, so I felt like she was she was like asking like soldiers like come get me. Like I don't know. Like am I am I confused? She was like telling the soldiers to come get every all the rest of us. But and just, which is weird because the soldiers are like the usually the ones that are all about the constitution and fighting for the people of this nation and not actually annihilating the people of this nation. Yeah, but that's interesting. I, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. I mean, like, um, what, what is exactly? So she's, she so she's, so she's an elected official. She's a public figure, and she's literally calling for open war against anybody that's in alignment with. what well, She says Trumpers, but we know that what mm -hmm. she's talking about is anyone that stands for freedom. Yeah, I, I heard somebody like, I, like I was reading something about this earlier, and I saw like you got to watch the full clip to get the full context, and she's not actually calling for violence or something like that. Yes, yeah, she but, is. But 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 it sounds pretty clear to me. I don't know. Play so. clip two. Play clip Play two. Clip okay, two. so I guess uh, after she was reprimanded, I guess like there was a formal reprimand from the state and all this stuff, and she was you know gone through all this, and so she apparently comes back on. Oh, she changed her ways. But here, no, she, she did senses? not change her ways. She but here's the her thing. Senses? Here's the thing. It's like this why is, is she not under arrest? This is the audacity of this them. This is they sedition. They, well, they know that they have all the power. They know that they're they're, they're invincible. They they feel like they're invincible, and so yeah. that they have free reign to go out and say or do whatever it is that they want. I mean, if you the know? soldiers go after anybody, it's not going to be us. But it's our... She's but, kind of a target but now. See, but it's like our videos, like Truthzilla and our friends that are getting deplatformed, you know, yeah. they're, they're coming yeah. after us saying that we are inciting violence. Like, that's the most insane thing ever. They're the ones that are saying that, like, the QAnon theory. Like, I'm not a big Q guy, but it's like, they're saying that that the, is what's The Q guys are just violence. there to, like, wait for wait for the... You know, the savior to, to drain the swamp. Yeah, yeah, you know, no I mean, no one's Q guys aren't doing anything. Yeah, the Q guys have been told to stand <laughs> down. They're not doing you know? anything. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying that Q is bad. I'm saying there's good information, but like there is a message there that is uh, holding you back from doing what you should be. Yeah, which is the danger this of This is, it. I, I, I really am getting to that point. I'm just going to go lay in the road. I can't yeah. keep going on <laughs> yeah, with this, yeah. man. It's lunacy. Yeah. So, yeah. like this, is, so they're blatantly in your face calling for violence and yeah. saying. This Killed, this is a Michigan representative. Yeah, yeah. Why are people yeah. in Michigan not up in arms maybe, over maybe this? They are. Maybe, maybe they are. I don't know. Well, they I'm are. fucking furious. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, clip let's roll two. clip two and we'll, we'll get madder in just a second. So clip two, by. pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> All you soldiers, soldiers of Christ, soldiers against racism. Soldiers of Christ. Is that really what you're saying now? Oh, yeah, okay, right. Sure. Right. Soldiers so of Christ. Not Antifa soldiers, <laughs> BLM soldiers. All right, so shout out Jews to against shout out misogyny. to Next News Network. Soldiers against domestic violence and domestic terrorism. Soldiers. Antifa speaks. Rise! It's time for you to rise. Soldiers. Soldiers for Christ. That's bullshit. Mm. <laughs> Soldiers against racism. I'm sorry, it just makes me laugh. Soldiers against misogyny. <laughs> Soldiers for black and brown people who are being mistreated. Rise, soldier. Okay. She's, well, so she's sort of fucking viable. 
Yeah. I, Why is she not under arrest for sedition and for fucking treason? She ought to be facing the fucking gallows for saying that kind of shit when she's supposed to represent and lead people. Mm-hmm. I think she should be hired for the next zombie thriller and she'd be like, soldiers, rise up out of your graves. I don't know. She's like, she's, she's, what if she's called, what if she's actually just calling out to George Soros's clan? So she's, we think she's talking to vets, I mean, but she, she's she, not, she's she just she calling. She is though. She, d- I mean, she is. That's, I mean, the, the irony of it is that is exactly who she is calling out to. I find it interesting that she said soldiers of Christ because she's clearly not in alignment with that. God will not be mocked. No. She's yeah. going to answer for that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing the is, whole is thing of, that's the whole inversion where you act like you're standing, like how they've changed the definition and locked it out that fascism now means right wing when we all know that that's not what it was eight months ago. Mm-hmm. Um, this is an absolute inversion. Yeah. Well, where they're, they try, they, they're, they, they're, they're, they're hiding behind one label trying to say that they're that they're this. And, and it, the whole thing is just psychological warfare. Yeah, it absolutely. And she's literally calling for physical warfare. Yeah. 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 No. I, Did anybody else misunderstand that? No, I, I mean, she, she wouldn't be calling out to soldiers if she meant to go give hugs. Do what you do. <laughs> do it right. Be yeah. in order. Yeah. yeah. No. It's a little frustrating. Yeah. I, it, I mean, but the, at the same time, though, I mean, like you said, it's, she's calling out to Soros people. Have you looked at them? Not to, not to generalize, but like I... The reality okay, is... okay. You can do that. I, I, I do think, though, that... Listen, there's only a certain type of people that fall for that kind of diabolical agenda, and they all tend to look alike because the, the, the truth is that demonic spirits d- d- convey and carry themselves the same throughout every human being because it's the same energy. I just... I think... I mean, and I hate to get... Especially coming out of this election whole thing and, and all this where it's, it is... Um, it's so easy to get polarized into a side... And I'm trying to not get stay on a side as much, but uh, obviously, if we're gonna talk sides, who she's calling out would get their asses slaughtered. Like that's just we know that. Yeah. Like the, one side has all the guns. One side has all the guns. That's what, well, maybe that's what they want, maybe so then they can the, have an excuse to take yeah. the guns. Yeah, this is the depopulation agenda right here. Well, it's part of it. I, I totally <laughs> yeah. think it is. I've said maybe. that too. I think that they want to incite civil war. That's going to wipe out a, a lot of people. Then they're going to use the vaccine to wipe out quite a number more. And those that don't die from the va- da- vaccine likely aren't going to be able to reproduce. Um, yeah. So they've, they've. It's not. It's not the government coming to kill us. This genocide isn't I, about them. You know, like the Justice Department trying to push through, you know, firing squads again, which they are. Um, why would that be? I wonder. But it's it's not that. It's not this uh, people just showing up and shooting us in our houses that I think a lot of people who disagree with the truth tr- tend to blanket, you know, and rationalize. Well, it, that's not ever going to happen. Well, it doesn't have to happen that way because this is how they're killing us. This is how they're slaughtering us. This is how sure. they're setting us up for defeat and death. Sure. And uh, anyway, it's it's very clear. It's divide and conquer. I, I hadn't seen the second half of that video clip. I saw the first half and did a little reading on it. And then after seeing that second one, like it's just clear to me, like she's but just she did that after she's they just removed fan- her, her. But what I'm saying is, like she's just fanning the flames, man. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. just yeah. she's she's playing us. Yeah. She's just an instrument of this of this divide and conquer. And I feel like almost kind of disgusted. Like I don't even want to give her a platform. Like she she doesn't. She I can see her for what she is. She's a liar and she's she's playing us. Mm-hmm. She's she's playing us. She's pushing that other side. Um, and, and, and she's, she, she's like, she is the actual problem right here. Like, it's not, I'm not afraid of what her or her people are going to do to us. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like, she is the person who is, I mean, it's just like, they need to have this type of divide. Otherwise they don't have anything to stand on. Like they need racism in the world. Like they, what would they do if there was no racism in the world? That's the last thing that her people like were unified against the the actual people that are against us. They would have no chance. Yeah. That's the last thing the world she wants is there to be a world of no racism because it wouldn't give her anything to scream about dude. Like that's, that's the whole psychology of this. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Canada's up there training the uh, Chinese troops. Yep. 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 So that all came out too. So rebel news is reporting now that, uh, you know, there are boots on the ground, Chinese troops in Canada that are training, uh, under Justin, Justin Trudeau's little military regime. And, uh, why would that be? I don't, well, and, and just to, why, why would uh, the Chinese need to be trained in Canada and not in China? I wonder, unless, unless it was to be used against the Canadians. Yep. Or, or somebody on the North American continent somehow, right, right, right. right. Yeah. So that's a super weird thing. I mean, it's just so, it's just never ending, you guys. It's just never ending. Super weird. I think it makes perfect sense. It does. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, it does. I think it fits right in with everything we're seeing. 
Well, we know? already knew this was coming, and just the fact that it's so blatant in our faces, I think, what just keeps blowing my mind. Yeah, yeah, and and I think, I think we're all coming to a place, and I th- this is changing week to week. You know, we yeah. we go, we're gonna maybe move here, we're gonna maybe move here. We've yeah. talked about moving out of the country. <laughs> We've talked about just getting on cryptocurrency. We've talked about you know all, so many different things, but um, I think we're all coming to a place that like it's just getting more serious and more serious, and we're just realizing it's all fucking coming down. Yeah, it's all it's all down coming to down, and it's. We're getting more into survival mode. Yeah. We're learning. We're trying to connect with people that are in survival mode. We're and you know I and we're we're doing a good job of that lately. Yeah. Yeah. We are. Mm-hmm. We're we're and we're not going to get into specifics, but I suggest to anyone find your tribe of people, find your group of people that are and try- that are that are going to be real soldiers. Yeah. Right. You're so going to need to be soldiers without having to say too much because we can't say too much. But you should find a way to get physically prepared yeah. and train. And you should find a way to get your house in order and be yeah. prepared. And you should be networking with people who are like-minded for freedom and who stand on your liberties and the Constitution. And, and just uh, if you even take it out of the Constitution, stand on your human rights, yeah. stand on your Natural dignity, law. and take your power back. Mm-hmm. Um, freedom cells, uh, if you can get connected yeah, in that way tool. in your community, Definitely. that's a good way to get started and get plugged in. And I recommend seeking out... Um, People in your community and in your circle who you know stand for similar things and and network together mm-hmm. quietly and not on Facebook. Uh, use Signal yep. or yeah. Telegram. Yep. You guys both get it, so it can be end to end encrypted. Yeah. And uh, and so that's Look what. Look at you, Megan. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. So. Yeah. Um, but but that's what we're doing. That's what we've begun doing, and uh, and the fight continues, and we're we're preparing. We're Guys, back. Yeah, we're back. Look at that. We had to take a little quick break there. So, um, anyway, the soldiers got Scott. Yeah, the soldiers they got me, man. So. Uh, so but, plug into your tribe. Yeah, plug in your and, tribe, and man. And in particular, train. Like, there's a lot of us who are not in our physical uh, best peak performance mode and i think that this is a time to throw away it's, those bad habits because yeah. we are i think most anybody listening to us right now understand what's coming mm-hmm. down the yeah. line um so we are getting plugged in in that way we recommend you do that too yeah absolutely and and you know uh like the, what i was going to say was that you know we've been talking a lot about like well the people that we've been talking to outside of this you know a lot of it a lot of focus has been on cryptocurrency and stuff like that and something that i've you know is very much of interest to me yeah but, but, you know, just in the last couple of days, I've had like a real like shift and it just, I'm at the point where it's like, dude, ain't going to be no cryptocurrency, dude. Ain't going to be no nothing, I mean, man. It, look at when it's the gonna, Soviet it's Union all coming went, down, dude. Went, went got <laughs> tore apart. I mean, this is, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at, you know, um, people are going to be raiding each other's homes yeah. and cars and, and, you know, th- this is, people. it's not going to be safe on, in, in, a, in, in a, a city. In a city. You're going to want to escape no, the city. No. You're going to, you're going to want to be able to fend for yourself and you're going to want to be able to grow food yeah. you're going to i mean you're going to need shelter yeah. food i mean you're going to be able to defend yourself and and yeah. you're probably not going you're to be able to do it be mobile be yeah. mobile and you, you probably can't do it as individuals or like i mean i would say even bigger than you know you're just your family get get a, a group yeah get Correct. a group get a group where you're going to have each other's back where there's you know rendezvous places and things like that i you know, somebody told me, you know, to not speak these things um, out loud because it manifests into existence that which we don't want to happen. And I refuse to have my fire be silenced. Yes. The truth of the matter is, is that my gut tells me and my heart knows where we're headed and whether that's this month or three months from now or next year or for certain within nine years. Yeah, by 2030 um, That's not sure. a long time <laughs> for all of us who have yeah. grown up in a public school system yeah. and within cities and buying all of our things from grocery stores and getting our crap food from McDonald's to figure out a whole different way to live. Um, these yeah. are really, really important times. Yeah. I really want to encourage people who are local to us in, in Oregon, we're all in Eugene, Oregon, um, to reach out to us too if you want to get plugged in in these ways. We have a bit of a community of us that are already working towards these things and we are looking to grow that community with um, people who are appropriately plugged in and wanting yeah. to uh, help to further the cause of freedom. Um, and whatever that might look like in the future for all of us. So mm-hmm. definitely mm-hmm. find yeah. us and find Not each like other. in a secret society type of way, but like, you know. Or, 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 but like, know, a, like, 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 well, like in a way that we, we can't talk about a, it on Facebook. Yeah, maybe we should start a secret society. That'd be cool, dude. <laughs> Aren't we kind <laughs> yeah, of? Yeah, Aren't yeah, we yeah, sort yeah, of involved in a couple yeah, of those? I mean, we, yeah. we are, I mean, yeah. we're networking. I mean, I think I'm a part of like five or six different groups on Telegram that are just all people networking because I think we're going to, I mean, essentially, we're going to have, you're going to have your group and you're going to need to, 
be able to communicate with other groups. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is, we're starting the underground railroad essentially, yeah, you know, but, I mean, yes. this, this vaccine is going to be rolled out here very shortly. And our, our governor already told us it's coming for us. You know, yeah. they, she already, she already told us. So, um, you know, well, don't that's, worry. Ed Obama said he would take it on camera. Yeah. I'm oh, totally yeah. sure that he's taking the, Let, the can COVID I, can I administer vaccine. it please? <laughs> can we, can we not have somebody just like, what I want to see is them like not give him the vial that they were going to pretend to give him on stage. Right. And let, they're probably just shooting him with adrenochrome. No, yeah, no yeah, doubt, yeah, no yeah. doubt. Come on, Barack. Certainly. We'll give you like a free dose today. Come Here's on, buddy. 600 hot dogs right to the vein. You first, Ooh. buddy. <laughs> Damn, that was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Bam. So anyway, Bam. so oh, yeah. we want to. I want to give a shout out too. So along came Trudy here in oh, Springfield, yeah! Oregon. Woo! Springfield, Oregon. Yeah. If you're in the Lane County, Oregon area, along came Trudy is a restaurant in Springfield, Oregon. It's on 18th Street. That's saying big old fuck you to Kate Brown. Yep. And they're staying open. And I heard that they're getting like a five hundred dollar fine every day, but they don't give a shit because they're just doing it, dude. And they're so constantly go and busy support and packed, them. Yeah. But give keep them your business. Them. Yeah. yeah. So Let's came Trudy, show baby. Up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Shout where we're going out. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So anyway, yeah. I don't know, guys. So, uh, uh, and also a shout out again, uh, was it Rena Fitness? Rena Fitness. Who else? Yep. Pursue, Pursue Fitness. Fitness. Pursue yep. Fitness. Shout out. And Pursue I want to give a shout out to E5 Academy um, here in our area. Also, mm. they aren't uh, fully open, but they've done everything that they can throughout these lockdowns to keep providing services to their members, um, including holding uh, classes um, outdoors so that everyone can still participate. They're doing a lot of online stuff. They've offered a lot of free stuff, including like online jujitsu, jujitsu for kids, uh, mm. keeping your kids moving and healthy. They're, they're yeah. offering outdoor activities to get together with instructors. And so uh, just support um, these places that are trying to support your uh, way of life. Yeah, not Planet Fitness, though. Planet Fitness is a bunch of freaking corporate shills. <laughs> and, yes. they wouldn't, and they wouldn't let me wear my little my little half mask yeah. on there. I, guess, I, I was there ass. for one day. They can kiss my one ass. One day dude. before they had to kiss my ass. I so. took the tour and was out. I was like, yeah. screw you guys. Yeah, yeah. fuck so. you, Planet <laughs> Fitness. The yeah. lunk alarm was enough. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, yep. Wow. Anyway, I guess uh, it's going to be a short. We have an amazing guest. Yeah, we just got guys. done recording this a pretty is, badass uh, interview. Week, so uh, you guys are going to yeah, love it, dude. Yeah, it was a it's great so conversation, good. definitely, with an actual doctor. Yeah, Ooh, actual doctor. Wonder, I wish she was in our community, but oh, it makes me want to move to Florida. Would have yeah. been so much better of an experience than my experience with the, the doctor this week. Oh God, <laughs> such a nightmare. <laughs> you know, I, I walk into like going to a Western medicine doctor though, expecting very little. So fair enough. So so when I walked in, I I got what I thought I would get. You, know, you were hoping right? so. for you were hoping for hope. Yeah. And for actual like treatment, and what you got was for them to blanket over the actual. I don't issue even think they knew the the meaning of the word healing. Honestly, they and, don't. And, and they're not healers. They're not. I mean, they, that's. I don't want to blanket the the whole of it, but but because the, there are good doctors. Listen, they can have good hearts, system. but they've gotten poor training and they've gotten poor ideologies sure. because of where it came down from. And so you can't hold people accountable for that, except. You also have to like distance yourself from it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the good ones, they find themselves over in the, the naturopath mm -hmm. side, uh, side of things. Or having their licenses pulled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like Dr. Yeah. Paul Thomas this yeah. week, you guys. Oh man. Shout out to Dr. Paul Thomas, man. That's horrendous. Anything you can do. Um, I think he's, I think they're uh, raising funds for him. Look, look for him uh, online. And um, all of these governors, all these legislators, they all need to be imprisoned. Yeah. And, and on that note, it was what Mandy. I can't remember her last Brandy. name, but the, uh, or Brandy, Brandy. The uh, she's an, an activist in the, in the mental freedom or the, excuse me, uh, health freedom movement, mm -hmm. and uh, and sh she died of mysterious causes at 47 years old. Had. Children, All of a sudden. yeah, and you very, know, it's, very. I feel like they're really, they're really shutting down. Brandy Vaughn, Brandy Vaughn, Brandy Vaughn. Um, they're really shutting down the people in our state specifically that are standing up against these vac vaccine mandates. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. they're really, and it's really scary because I'm. You don't have to do that with a real intense. pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I'm not suicidal. I'm not suicidal. Super happy. Life. Never the thing been is, she has, yeah. she has on video saying yeah. this, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. There's on video. Like, come get me, motherfucker. Like, it's, and they might come get us. Come get they me, might, Pfizer. but I'm gonna say the fucking truth until then. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And it's a hill we'll all die on. That is yeah. exactly yeah. what I came to die on. Hell yeah. Yeah. That censorship, baby. Yep. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. That's, yep. that's, that's, that was me. Medical freedom and censorship, man. That's it. You yeah. take off with everything else. Yeah. So, yep. all right. Well, well, we're well wrap it up then. I love you guys. Love, love you. you guys too. Very I much. Too, man. And, uh, <sighs> we're, I say it every week, but despite how diabolical everything is around us, 
we're pretty blessed, man. Yeah, yeah it's pretty totally amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All you guys Very out there fortunate. too, I'm super yeah. grateful yeah. you're all along for this, on this ride yeah, with us. I wouldn't feel as empowered as I do without my tribe, without yeah. you guys. Mm-hmm. And I think that there, and that's part of this agenda was to keep us isolated and to keep us fearful and to keep us alone. So unite with your groups, yeah, yeah. unite with your tribe, be empowered, pull your fucking mask off and yeah. keep living <laughs> your life in a forward manner, Damn. blossom in your that's gifts it. and enunciate the truth. Yes, enunciate the truth. I mean, I, I couldn't have said it that well. <laughs> oh my new catchphrase enunciate the truth mm. enunciate the truth I love it I like that I think I, I think I put it on a t-shirt oh Woo! yeah oh yeah I need to hurry up and get those t-shirts made yes oh my God. by yes. this weekend yes. right yes, sure yes that's the plan cool. that's the plan we just you have to, I just said your last name you no that's all right that's all right we got we got a whole uh we got a whole slew of t-shirts coming we got uh one from our friends over at Idiocalypse uh yeah it's gonna be pretty cool guys so anyway more to be more will be revealed there but in the meantime check out truezilla.org new little fun little website we got some good stuff on there we got our documentaries we got our rss feed we're working on getting the actual videos from bit shoot on there still um we got all the links to the union of the unwanted people um so we got we got exciting stuff coming you can always find us there if you guys feel like like uh checking us out come check us out yep yeah let's find us there find us on and you find us choose on facebook Twitter, what is it on Twitter? Truezilla Pod. Okay, Instagram. Mm-hmm. F- follow us on Instagram. I'm Heretic Girl on Instagram. Parlor and Truz- Float.app. Yep. yep. So uh, we have fire memes. We have the best memes yeah. on the best planet. Memes, best yeah. memes on That's Earth. for sure. Like like about half of them are original too. Yeah. They are. You know? Certainly. They are. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. all yeah. right. Well, everybody, thank you so very much. Um, stay safe. Keep yourself prepared. Cover your house in prayer. Love one another. Thank you so much for sitting with us. I'm Megan, sitting here with Scott and Ed, and we wish all of you intellectual prosperity. Good night. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew.